oh my goodness, I can't believe it's 2022 already. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my January TBR for 20. 22. If you are new to this channel then you don't know this but my mom actually picks my TBR every single month and she always has like a fun theme that goes along with why she chose the books that she chose. This month she has decided to choose books that she thinks I am going to hate because I have way too many books on my shelves and one of the rules on my channel is if I rate a book three stars or less I have to get rid of that book. So she picked books that she thinks that I'm gonna hate so that in the end I'll unhaul a whole bunch of books. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book she chose was 10 Blind Dates by Ashley Elson. This is about a girl named Sophie who goes to South Louisiana for Christmas break and she thinks that it's the perfect time to spend a lot of alone time with her boyfriend, but then her boyfriend ends up dumping her and so her crazy extended family decides that they are going to set her up on 10 blind dates throughout the Christmas holiday and it's like the story of her going on these dates but then the boyfriend comes back asking for a second chance but by then she's already fallen for somebody else who's unavailable so you know contemporary YA. I've kind of grown out of contemporary YAs usually I give them like 2.5 stars so she's hoping that this is another one of those. Next up is The Fill In Boyfriend by Casey West. This is another contemporary YA. It's about a girl who gets dumped on the night of her prom and so she has a guy who's waiting to pick up her sister or something so she convinces him to be her boyfriend for two hours with no strings attached, just a lot of lies and then she ends up falling for him in those two hours. So insta love. We know I hate insta love on this channel so probably gonna hate this. I also feel like Casey West is a very hit or miss author with me. I've never rated her books more than 3.5. I'm assuming she's hoping that it's going to be a lower rating. The next one she chose is Hold Me Closer Necromancer by Lish McBride and her reasoning for this one was it's weird but she also thinks that I'm going to like it. It's like a young adult fantasy novel. I believe. It's about a guy named Sam who's working at a fast food joint and then a boy named Douglas walks in and realizes that he is a necromancer but Sam has no idea that he is a necromancer and he's like yo you're a necromancer and he's like what are you talking about? And then there's like a dead friend and a werewolf girl. I don't really know what's happening but he has like a time limit to figure out how to use his necromancer powers before something bad's gonna happen. But apparently it was a finalist for some award so it can't be that bad. She thinks because it's young adult I'm not gonna rate it very high but We'll see. Next up is one that I actually think she's going to be very wrong about. Who knows? She chose Birthday by Meredith Russo. This follows two people, Morgan and Eric. They share a birthday. They've been best friends forever, but Morgan feels that they are not in the correct body and they don't know how to tell Eric that they want to be a girl. And so it's basically the story of them trying to tell their best friend that they won are in the wrong body and to have feelings for that person. This was super, super, super popular when it first came out and I just never actually picked it up, but I'm thinking that I'm probably going to enjoy it. The next one I think she's probably right about. It is I'm Not Your Manic Pixie Dream Girl by Gretchen McNeil. This involves math, which I am not a fan of. It's young adult, which I have been growing out of, and it's like a contemporary, so. You know, probably not gonna go well. It's about a girl named Beatrice who's very unpopular. She has two best friends who are also in the same school as her. She is really good at math, so she devises this formula that's supposed to help them become popular and, you know, live their best life in high school. She has a boyfriend, but then the boyfriend ends up dumping her for another girl, so she decides that she's going to use the formula on herself because it's been being so successful with her two best friends. And so she reinvents herself to be a girl named Trixie, who is the Manic Pixie Dream Girl, to try to win back her ex-boyfriend. It's like the story of that. Probably not going to be my favorite book. Probably will be in the unhaul, but we'll have to see. It might surprise me. Next up is another one that I think she is dead wrong about, but it is My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. This has been on my TBR forever, so that's really the reason why she chose it. She also just hates the cover. She thinks it's creepy, so she just wants it off my shelf. This is about two girls. They go swimming one day, and then the one friend is really weird afterwards and, like, very moody. You know, she becomes possessed, so it's her best friend trying to exercise that demon from her. I personally think I'm gonna really enjoy this. It's just if I ever actually pick it up. That's the problem. 
And then the final one she chose, she just thinks it's below my age level, so she doesn't think I'm going to enjoy it. It is Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. This is about a girl whose best friend ends up dying with three other like really popular girls and everybody in town is saying that they had a suicide pact. Mila, who's the friend, does not believe that her other friend would do this and she is also a Wiccan, so she decides that she is going to raise these girls from the dead to figure out what actually happened to them, only the girls do not remember what happened to them, but they do remember that they want some revenge and so they have seven days in order to seek this revenge before they return to their grave and it's like the story of that. This has had very mixed reviews so I honestly have no idea if I'm going to like this or not but fingers crossed I do. We like witchy books but it's also YA so we never know. All right everybody that was my January TBR for 2022. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books, what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!